Good morning, and welcome to episode 39 of Getting Rich. I'm your host, Rich Checkin, president of Asset Strategies International, and today is Wednesday, August 11th, 2021. Over the past week, we've seen an increase in the surge of the coronavirus Delta variant. It's causing alarms across the country and across the world, and it's also causing many jurisdictions to revert back to masking and other provisions to slow the spread. In the meantime, Congress is working on the massive infrastructure bill, trying to figure out a way to spend more money we don't have at this point. And that's all kind of left in the shadows to the flash crash in gold, silver, platinum over the past week, where we saw going uh, early morning or late night Sunday, early morning uh, uh, Monday, we saw $4 billion worth of uh, sales go through, triggered a whole bunch of technical selling and got even the most staunch gold bugs and believers in precious metals to doubt themselves. So I want to go right to a question uh, or a comment actually that I received from a longtime client, Ron, uh, who basically came out and said, enough with the bullish emails. You are embarrassing yourselves. Now, I didn't react to that. I, I don't believe we're embarrassing ourselves. We absolutely believe after millennia upon millennia of gold doing its job as a store of purchasing power that it will continue even in this era of COVID-19 and uh, government shutdowns, we fully expect gold to fulfill its role as a store of purchasing power. But I wanted to read that question and I wanna share those words with you because it's very important. I'm certain that most of you listening to this video feel the same way. You're beyond frustrated. We know there is inflation out there right now. We know that there is more inflation coming through the pipeline that has not gotten itself up to the point where we're seeing a rise in consumer prices. It's just hitting the wholesale and producer levels at this point, but it's coming. We know that the government has expanded the money supply by an unprecedented amount. 25% of the money supply created in less than a year. So with all that going on, everybody expects gold and silver to surge and everybody is getting frustrated and wondering and scratching their heads as to why it's not. Folks, keep the faith. Be calm and carry on. Don't fret. I'm telling you, gold will do what it's supposed to do when it's good and ready to do it. Uh, it's not going to react to short-term uh, uh, stimuli, etc. It is going to just plot along and be that staple asset in your portfolio, storing purchasing power that it always does. I heard these same cries and the same frustration in the last bull market when gold dropped to 450 from 750. I heard it again when it dropped from $1,000 to 750. I heard it less than three years ago before the breakout when we spent a couple years mired in a range from $1,200 to $1,300. People had given up on gold. They've given up on precious metals. Sentiment was at incredibly low levels. And here we are, five to $600 above that point, crying the blues again. It is doing its job. Be patient. There is no better way to keep what's yours. I want you to join me tonight because I know you're frustrated and I know you want some answers. We are having our uh, third quarter on the move webinar, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Need to sign up on the registration button accompanying this video slash email. And we have a special guest. It was supposed to be Chuck Butler. He had a uh, last minute emergency and his good friend Dennis Miller from Miller on the Money is gonna stand in one of the best common sense folks out there talking about retirement, holding on to what you have, keeping what's yours, if you will. Uh, I cannot wait uh, for Chris and I to have a conversation with Dennis Miller tonight. We are gonna cover 
the economy and what the Fed is doing to, to steer us through this economy. We're going to talk about gold and silver, why they haven't moved, when they will move, what will cause them to move. We're going to talk about the potential of the U.S. dollar eventually re losing reserve currency status and what that means to each and every one of us and our, our lifestyle changes that are going to come about as a result of it. So you need to tune in 7 o'clock tonight to On The Move. Uh, we're looking forward to having you, and uh, it's going to be a great show. We're going to answer a lot of these questions more than I can get done in a few minutes here. Uh, let's look at the prices. Uh, as I mentioned, we saw a flash crash, so this is significant change. Gold is down to 1738.20 from 1815.90 last week. That's 4.3% drop. Silver down to 2346 from 2582. That's a 9.1% drop in a week. Platinum. 1,017 this week was 1,048 last week. That's a 3% drop. And palladium, unchanged, 2745 just like it was a week ago. The gold-silver ratio with silver dropping further than gold has increased to 7437 from 7056. And the dollar, as you can imagine, in the short term has shown a little bit of strength, flexing its muscles. It's at 93.16 from 92.10. Make no mistake, that is still bare territory below 95 on the index for the U.S. dollar. As always, I want you to uh, subscribe and like our YouTube channel. I want you to add your comments and questions so we can address them on the air uh, for all to hear. I want you to follow us on the various social media plant, um, platforms for asset strategies. Subscribe to our monthly newsletter information line and our twice weekly alerts. Always something interesting. Be sure to register and attend the webinar tonight on the move. Chris Blasi, myself, and Dennis Miller from Miller on the Money. It's going to be a fantastic show. And don't ever forget that getting rich starts with keeping what's yours.